Podcasts, which is a show that looks at other podcasts and reviews them. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a, it's a pre, they, they pretty much tear apart shows, but it's a, it's a fun time. It, it sounds like it, too. And uh, how familiar are you with, um, what was it, Joe Rogan or Seth Rogan having, like, the, um, the number one podcast in the nation and Ron Burgundy at number two? How familiar are you with those? Well, I, uh, I, I've listened to some of Joe Rogan. It depends on like, – I'm not big on the whole format of celebrities interviewing other celebrities. Uh, it, but it also depends on who is on. Um, he recently did a five-hour episode with Alex Jones. Wow. And it was, it was the most fascinating conversation that you could ever imagine about absolutely nothing. Uh, it's, it was, you, didn't, you wouldn't think that you could be entranced in a five-hour discussion, but here we are. Um, it, it, and uh, the Ron Burgundy podcast, like, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I, I think the idea would have been great if it came out like – way earlier when burgundy was a more relevant thing but now it's just a, a bizarre move for will ferrell to do right right exactly and of course you know anchorman being number one and having um what was it anchorman 2 coming out it was like the craze thing and it, it just made new cool as well so i could see what you're saying too and of course you talked about uh some of your um, favorites as well too you know growing up when it came to uh radio tv and all that who are some of your favorite um artists growing up favorite actors and uh some tv shows that you enjoyed watching um well i mean as far as the radio goes i grew up on uh the old school opie and anthony show um that i was a big i was a big fan of like the prank calls and the the, the fun little skits and stuff that they would do uh, maybe a little bit more adult for my time. I was a younger kid at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, 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 I loved like, as I got a lot of my comedic games, like from Saturday night live, um, upright citizens brigade kids in the hall, a uh, little bit more obscure comedies. Uh, I'm a big fan of mystery science theater 3000. Mm-hmm. And, and, and of course, uh, what are you looking to do as well too? Like say with, um, when you, when you get done with your uh, Sack 'em Up Sundays and Dead Tube, um, do you have like a, a third podcast that's in the works, or are you looking to expand uh, Sack 'em Up Sundays and or Dead Tube? Well, um, I would lo- I'd love to expand both of them. That's that's the goal is to try to evolve Sack 'em Up Sundays into something that's. Uh, I I mean, if if it makes money here and there, that's great. But I want it's more about creating a quality show for people that's worth putting into their earbuds and listening to. And Dead Tube is the same way, um, but I, I feel like that's gonna it's gonna take the time a, a little bit more time to get that where I want it to be. But sa- yeah, Sack 'em Up Sunday, I'm 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 always looking to. It's not a project that I'm looking to give up anytime soon. Um, but if another show comes up, I'm always interested in trying them. Uh, I've taken my stabs at political and social science shows and and audio fiction podcasting and whatnot. And it doesn't it doesn't necessarily work out, but. If the opportunity comes up, I'm always willing to give it a go. It, it sounds like it as well, too. And uh, what would be your ultimate goal as well, too? And what format would you be uh, ultimately like to do? Comedy or sports or, you know, what is like your ultimate as well? Um, I, I think I would like to I'd like to stick to the comedy genre. Um, I, I think I think that's the, where I'm most comfortable at. And I got I, I I'm not I'm knowledgeable at some things, but I'm not knowledgeable enough to, about certain topics unless I have, you know, there's, there's a lot of research. In order for me to put on an informative show, I feel like there's a lot of research that needs to get put into it. And I, 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 it wouldn't be fair for me to just quickly read through a Wikipedia article and then record it and make people listen to that. So. That is amazing too. And of course, um, we'll look at the, some of your, um, areas as well too, on more on the podcast, listen to the Mike Wagner show at the Mike Wagner show.com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking a budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Evan Fine, the senior reserve group. When you start thinking about retirement, who are you going to call about Medicare? Why call the best? Evan Fine of Senior Reserve Group, specializing in Medicare, health, and long-term care insurance. 
Evan can be reached at 1-800-650-9357. That's 1-800-650-9357. Or email to evanfine at com. Evan is licensed in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Delaware, South Carolina, and Florida. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on MikeWagnerShow.com. You can also check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can also download and listen on SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio, and YouTube as well. We're here with Brandon Fisher, the podcasting host for Sack 'em Up Sundays and The Dead Tube, talking about his shows and looking to expand and um also, he can tell you on uh, where he can hear all this and making a great trip from Connecticut to North Carolina. And, of course, you know, just um, once again about Sack Up Sundays and Dead Tube and uh, tell everybody um, where can they hear your uh, podcast as well. Oh, you can find us anywhere. Um, we're, we're on iTunes, Podbean, CastBox, Stitch, CastBox Stitcher, uh, pretty much any, uh, Spotify. Um, I, we were submitted to iHeartRadio. We're not there. We're on Laughable. Um, Podcoin, Podcoin, it's a you know great way to earn some cash listening to podcasts. So you know you're you're listening to shows, you might as well get paid to do it. Go to Podcoin. Ching. Yeah, That's what I'm not, thinking. Not, 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 yeah. Not, not, not to throw not to throw a, pl- a free plug into your show. I, I know. I'm 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 kidding. When I hear a Podcoin, it's like getting paid. I go cha ching. Makes you think of Las Vegas. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, you you can find us anywhere that, that's that has podcasting on it, pretty much. It, it, it sounds like it as well, too. And of course, um, you know, with between the two uh, Sack 'em Up Sundays and Dead Tube, um, what do you think is like the uh, your most favorite part of those uh, projects, and what's the most challenging of the two? Um, well, the most challenging part is getting getting everything pieced together. Um, the one one episode of Dead Tube will take me uh, on a on a rough day, on a good good week about maybe thirty forty hours just to piece it all together, um, and then you know. But the, my my favorite part about about all of it is just being able to sit down with my friends and discuss these to discuss the things that that really interest us and you know uh, it, it's 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 a sort of therapeutic thing even if we're not talking about like therapy style subjects even if we're just asking random hypothetical scenarios to each other it's it's a it's just a real fun relaxing time and if I can have other people join in and enjoy the conversations that we're having then so be it. Mm-hmm. It, it sounds like something I can imagine right now, just throwing a random question out there. I can just throw a random question out to you since you live in North Carolina. What are your current thoughts on NASCAR right now? Oh man, I, I, I do not, I am not a NASCAR uh, fan. I, my, my brother, when I was younger, used to force me to sit down and watch it. And I just, it, I never got into it. I'm not a big af- athletic person. Like I don't, I don't like, I'm not big on sports and stuff. I'm, I'm more of a music and arts kind of person. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that's something you figure you want to throw out there. You know, people think North Carolina, it's like, hey, what do you think about Jeff Gordon retiring? When's Jimmy Johnson going to win and all that stuff? You know, people ask you questions, but at least we get that out there. And, of course, with your um, show as well, too, you throw random questions out there. And, um, you know, believe it or not, I got some coffee. And um, go ahead and throw a random question out there to me. I'm willing to answer. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, let me. Oh. It, let me... I, I got I got these all like the, it'll a random one will just pop up in my head. I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta write that down before I forget. <laughs> and, and it's okay to use your iPad or your um, smartphone that's separate. You can uh, look up and uh, say, hey, what can I ask here? You know, that's one of the things too. And um, it's also in common too having a setup. We have a couple of iPads, tablets, and another laptop. Look up information to record, and um, you, you know why you're just looking as well too, and. Um, you could also uh, just throw some surprises or something. So after all, it okay. is a podcast. After all, so yes. <laughs> well, well uh, I, I got I got one here. Um, it's a it's a little bit of a question slash hypothetical scenario. Uh, you, I don't know how big of a, a Marvel fan movie fa- you know person you are, but you are given the I'm going to give you the opportunity to assemble your own uh, Avenger team. But you can't use actual superheroes. Who are you going to put in? I, and the four people. Okay. Well, my boys are Marvel fanatics, and they could probably better answer that question. But I do get into it because you know they're my boys or my family. My lovely wife Serena gets into it, and of course, my two older ones, Sean in Chicago, Sarah in um, Bismarck. You know they get into it. If we all got together, so if I were put a Marvel team, and um, first of all, how many am I allowed? 
Uh, I'll give you can do three or four people. We'll we'll keep it short for you. Okay, three or four people. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I'll probably throw in. I'm going to um look through my uh, magic pad here. So I'm probably <laughs> going to throw in. Um. You know what? I'm gonna throw in Jimmy Johnson. Let's just say okay. we'll call him Racing Man. And, and okay. of course, Racing Man because he always races but somehow stumbles. And he has to have um, Miley Cyrus, you know, just pick him up and get him to the finish line. We'll call him like um, My- Miley Girl or something or Miley Smiley, you know, just okay, gets out okay. there and, uh, and just, just twerks the enemies to death or something, you know, just <laughs> comes over the superpower of twerking. You know, okay. you have that. And then we could, I could probably throw in a uh, third person. And of course, you know, this may be sports oriented and I can just give you a little bit and I'm going to. Um, Throw out there, um, Mike Trout of the Los Angeles Angels, four hundred and thirty million dollars. We'll call him M- Money Man because uh, he al- he's always on the money when it comes to everything. And I'm okay. going to uh, pick up uh, pick up another person who um, I'm going to um, say here. I'm trying to think uh, maybe somebody in um, you know what? actually I can call him uh, Mark Phelps. Um, fish man or something because he always fi- he always fishes and get and gets the guy no matter what i mean the olympic swimmer it's like won some medals you call him like you know fish man or something just um gets the guy every single time so okay. that, that's you, that's probably my uh my super team right there i just did it you out had, of you, random. You, had, you had names all prepared and everything i'm impressed <laughs> Why, thank you. You know something? They just came from the top of my head, I'll tell you that. So it's like I didn't I didn't use the um iPad, I Googled it or thumb through my notes. I just happened to just think it's like, okay, you know, so and so is in the news and so and so did this, and I remember um so and so did this to get attention, so and so did this because uh, they're like the richest right now. But of course I was gonna throw in some political figures, but I don't wanna get some angry phone calls or emails, so just thought I'd make it fun and um Hopefully that's the team right there that'll uh, save the universe. Uh, see, you, you and I had different ideas. I, I, I was assembling a team that I know wasn't going to win it. Uh, <laughs> so I, 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 got, I got Stephen Hawking um, and then uh, Robert Downey Jr., but I'm going to put Robert Downey Jr. in the Iron Man suit, mm, not okay. as Iron Man, just as Robert Downey Jr. So he's got to figure it out himself. <laughs> and. And then I was going to throw Justin Bieber into the mix just because. Oh, Justin <laughs> Bieber. You know what? I could see him trying to fight Miley Cyrus, and then they get together and go out and <laughs> save the world. Can you imagine that? You know, they would save U.S. Oh, and God. Canada at the same time. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that would be awful. <laughs> no, no, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> You know, you know what though? Put it on midnight TV after after some somebody had several drinks and they can probably understand it very well. So uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think we got some great programs that's coming up as well too. And um, you know, we can talk about this um as well too. And um, you know, lastly here, well, we know you're a very busy guy, Brandon. Uh who do you consider your biggest influence in your uh, podcasting career? Um I guess my biggest influence would be my wife. Like or well she actually I, I assume like she in the sense of like, she's the most supportive in it. Um, because it does take it, it, this sort of thing does take up a lot of time. Um, so, and sometimes it's, you know, away from family and stuff. So it's nice that she's understanding about it. And she likes to jump in every now and again too. Um, I guess, uh, as far as influence goes, it's just, it's, it's just a fun thing to do. I'm influenced by how much I enjoy doing it. Mm-hmm. It, it sounds like having a lot of fun. And uh, what's the best advice you can give to anybody right now? Um, don't be afraid to put out the first episode because the first episode is always going to be garbage. Um, <laughs> you, you, it, it, it is. I, I I recorded it off of a piece of crap little microphone, and it what the quality wasn't great. I wasn't sure how it would come out. I was embarrassed to do it, but it's like if if you don't if you don't post that first one, you'll never put out a second one. So. It, 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 you, you only grow from starting out good. Like no one's gonna be like Joe Rogan right out the bat. No, nobody is. I mean, you never know until you try, and that's the best place to start. You learn how to. You learn from your mistakes. I mean, that's probably the best advice. And I tell everybody all the time, it's like, don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's the best way to learn. If you try to be perfect all the time, you're not going to learn from mistakes, whatever. So my best advice to give to everybody is, 
Don't be afraid to make mistakes. You make a mistake, correct it, and you just learn from it, and you continue to improve. I mean, that's the best way to um, grow as well, too, make mistakes. Oh, yeah. Uh, before before we take off, I got one more question for you if you're, if you're interested. Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to give you a button. Now, this button is good. Whenever you push this button, 